My name is Michael Fuller, and I'm a BAMA in the dual degree program in journalism. It was in my senior year of high school. I had already applied to several other schools. I went to a college fair at the Philadelphia Convention Center, and I had saw the schools I had applied to, some I had been accepted to, some that I had been waitlisted on. So after that day had ended, uh, we were just about to leave the convention center, and my mother saw the Hofstra table, and she had known, uh, she knew some friends who actually went to Hofstra. So she said, well, go over, talk to Hofstra. It's so funny because at the end of the day, I was tired and I really didn't want to talk to anybody. But we went over and talked to the table and I loved what I heard. Uh, I love that you could have the city benefits without having to be in the city. The program in terms of the, the journalism department sounded really great. So I said, well, let's come up and visit. And after I visited, it went from being uh, not on the list to number one on the list. I just felt like this was where I belonged. The people were happy. The studios were great and uh, it was just an awesome place and so here I am. Well, you know, as I was here and getting involved with the television uh, network and then also the radio station, I saw that I was getting a lot of great experience, but I wanted even more experience. And the way to get that was to go and do internships actually in the field, to be out there and to be uh, getting that hands-on experience and touching everything that you wanted to do. And so I grew up in Philadelphia, and one of the first internships that I had at a television station was 6ABC, WPVI. Uh, it's the ABC-owned and operated station in Philadelphia and I had done some things with them before. I did a, a teen talk show with them. I had done some other stuff and so the summer of 2015 I said I, I would love to have an internship with them interviewed and got it. Uh, I was in the production and programming department. They have a lifestyle show there so we did that. We also did uh, a lot of their holiday specials in the summer and I got a chance to go out and be in the field with reporters and producers. Uh, I got a chance to do stand stand-ups and create work for my reel. So it was an incredible experience and through those types of internships is how I, I gained even more knowledge of what I really wanted to do. After the summer 2015, uh, I knew that I wanted my next internship, and one of my goals was to get an internship at a big network, uh, a major network, because I felt like I'm so close to New York City, I, I, I should have that opportunity. It's something I wanted to do, and I always wanted to intern at the Today Show. And so, as I said, going into the fall of 2015, I wanted to be there. I applied. I actually was told that uh, there were no more positions left, but come back in the spring. And so I went to the uh, Campus to Career website, which is the NBC Universal website for internships, and I said, well, what else I could, could I do? And so I went and applied for a news internship. I didn't know exactly what was involved with that, because there were many different categories, um, but I applied, and three days later, gratefully, I got a call saying that uh, we would love to have you come in and interview for a booking internship. I didn't know much about booking. Here, I had done the morning show uh, on the radio, and so I I did have to host but also book guests, but you know, I, I didn't know too much about it outside of that. So I went in and we had a wonderful interview and within a few days I, I was called and I got the job. And it was so exciting because during that time we booked for NBC Nightly News, we booked for the Today Show, Meet the Press and Dateline. Uh, and that was awesome. Also during that time uh, the Paris attack happened, unfortunately, San Bernardino. So I got a chance to see up close and personal, what a network is like in a time of a crisis, in a time of breaking news. You know, it was interesting because we watch, for a lot of those um, major events, we watch the death tolls rise. And so then it became, okay, we have to send Lester, we got to send Matt. No, we're not sending Matt. We're going to send Savannah. All right, can we get a booker over there? Do we, uh, do we, we have to get a plane? We have to get hotels. We have to get interviews. And so um, I think many people don't think about, you know, all of that other stuff when breaking news happens, but that is a part of the process. That's a part of how everything goes. And so being able to be on the front lines of not only booking guests, but seeing how breaking news took place in a network was just, um, that was incredible. And from there, I did actually get the internship with the Today Show, and uh, I moved on to that in the spring of 2016. I was with production and programming, and that was awesome. I got a chance to be in the control room, go on shoots, be on the plaza. And I, I think, 
there, what I really felt like was I was a part of a program that was bigger than myself. You know, for some people, the Today Show will only be something they watch on television, but for me, it was real life. It was a place that I was there Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And um, I think having the access and exposure to something like that at such a young age just opens up your mind for what is, is possible for you. It was exciting and what it gave me was a sense of confidence um, that when I came back here and we did it in a class or we did it for Hofstra today as I'm the anchor for that, uh, it gave me this sense of, of confidence that I could do it, you know, and that some of the things I learned from NBC is incorporated in some of our shows here uh, at Hofstra in terms of our radio and television program and, and that was just a, a really amazing thing. But it also gave me a sense of, uh, of hope, you know, Sometimes when you're in a classroom, um, you're there and you're like, okay, will I, will I use this when I get out into the field? Is this something that I will actually do? And, you know, after you've had those internships and you see the very things you're doing in the classroom is the very things they're doing out there, it said, wow, you know, I... It, it actually happens. This is what they actually do in the field. So um, it was It was that, wow, I, I already had hope in my education uh, and faith of, of what we do here. And so it just continued to restore it even more that when I get out of Hofstra, I will be even more prepared to go into the workforce because of the combined experience of having internships and what we do in the classroom.